Hello and welcome to another Facts and Dimensions dataset spotlight. In this video I'm going to spotlight the SNOMED dataset. There are several schemas in this data set with, uh, that cover SNOMED. Um, I'm querying them now in all available tables where table schema is like SNOMED. So you can see the SNOMED schema there and there's also SNOMED Extra, SNOMED GPS, Rev, Pandemic Plan and Research, SNOMED History Aid and SNOMED Simplified Model. The Extra one and the GPS one I'll leave you to look at them. If you query the release, the available tables table and go to these links, that will take you to them. But the important ones are these SNOMED ones, the history aid and the simplified model. So the SNOMED ones come from these TRUD packs. Now any users of our service have to subscribe to these TRUD packs uh, to confirm that they agree with the terms and then they can access that data through uh, facts and dimensions. So these TRUD packs have all the data in. I've got the latest one here, the clinical one here, and the drugs one here. Let's just open one. So there's international codes and there's UK specific codes, um, and they all go into the same tables. And to see which table, which file is, go is uh, coming from what source, or should I say which record is coming from which source, um, if you just query one of the tables, then scroll over, we've included the file name. It's really the only definitive way to do it. Um, with all those tables there, you've got everything to do with SNOMED. As I understand it, relationships, descriptions and concepts are the main tables. And we went to a um, live event in London to help understand these data sets and specifically we were only interested in exactly how to understand it in terms of loading it into SQL. We also got um, a few hours with one of the SNOMED specialists who helped uh, talk us through how to interpret the files uh, for the purposes of loading an ETL over Teams and they did a great job and this is the result. It's been like this for years. Um, <clears throat> there's also an additional schema here, History Aid, that comes from this pack the query table and history substitution table. Um, that just gives some additional information that you need when you're using the SNOMED packs. I'll leave you to go to the TRUD website to read all about that. Um, and then there's the simplified model one. Simplified model is actually derived from the other packs using a complex SQL, SQL um, bunch of statements. Uh, we had help from North East London CSU and from other customers, um, uh, Greater Manchester being another one, um, helping us to get this exactly correct. The original code came from NHS Digital. Now, I'm no expert in SNOMED, as I said. We only know insofar as what's needed to get in here. Um, and with the help of a few customers, this is exactly how it should be. But I do know that in this table here, concept descriptions, this field here, description type, preferred term, uh, is a, an especially useful column. Um, so you people who are used to SNOMED will know that they'll want to use that. So that helps explain SNOMED. Also, if you go on our forum, um, some of our customers have, have uploaded some clever SQL commands and SQL um, queries to help make even better use of this table. Because as I understand it, this preferred term is per language. And so a little bit more delving is needed, apparently. Um, I think that will do for this video. If you have more questions on SNOMED, please ask us on the forum. But at least for the purposes of the video, you can see that we have SNOMED and it's there ready to be used. Thanks.